Hello, this is a Bersendorfer 170 centimetre grand piano, that's 5 foot 7 inches long, and made in 1925 and fully restored. We've now finished all the refinement work on the action and uh, the casework, my colleague's been going over the casework also. It was repolished before, but he's just um, put more body onto it really, made it sort of in between a French polish and a satin piano. It looks remarkable I think. Um, this is typical style for the Bersendorfer 170, there's no fade line there um, so it's been kept well and let's look all the way around the case because um, Bersendorfer casework is extremely high quality of course, the whole piano is one of the top makes uh, alongside Steinway, Stein Graber, Beckstein, Bersendorfer. Uh, Bersendorfer and Steinway are often found on the concert sta stage so it really is a very respected maker piano and as you can see it's perfect so, well, nearly perfect. I suspect there's a few very small blemishes, but I don't notice any of them. And inside the piano, um, we can see it's obviously been fully restored in 2002, apparently. So, um, a very good restoration by a firm that restored a large number of similar pianos. Uh, we've actually bought and sold several of the, their pianos before and usually find that we want to refine the action a little bit more. They, obviously you can never stop refining something so we're trying to get it as good as we possibly can. Nice prop stick there I think, that's typical Bersendorf for prop stick. And that's one of the standard original Bersendorf for music stands. Uh, 85 notes by the way, uh, you can do studies on 85 note pianos as we've said before but um, 88 notes is the normal but a lot of older pianos have 85 keys and that's no problem at all for getting through all the grays. Uh, there are some pieces written for 88 but very few and you always have a choice so as you can see the keys are absolutely perfect ivory. It's been restrung and the tuning pins are as tight as they would be on a new piano so very stable. Um, the way the strings have been finished off here, the copper winding, is, is exactly authentic Bersendorf of finishing off. So uh, it's obviously they're modern strings, but they've been finished off exactly as a Bersendorfer would be, with this kind of like slightly bulbous bit here. Um, that is typical of, of Bersendorf. I don't think there's any other make that does that, though if you're in the trade and know of another make that finishes them like this, that would be lovely to know. But Bluther finished them off in a different way. Uh, most makes are finished as we'll have a look at one, see what most makes alike. This is a Yamaha C1 um, and I don't know if you can see there's a slight ridge there uh, which is exactly as most modern pianos look like and most a lot of older pianos too so that's the more common style. This is a Yamaha G3 so again there's a slight ridge here. So back to the Bersendorf you can see the unique way they're finished off. So the piano was already extensively restored uh, before we got it but we have actually spent I think over a week just refining the touch particularly if that's something we want to bring down to what it should be so 65 grams now it's come down to 56 Fif uh, 65 for middle C down to 52 which is ideal really and then we see that the weighting is exactly as we want it now so it feels wonderful to play so let's compare the tone of it with some other pianos This is the Yamaha C1, which was made in 2002. And the Yamaha G3, made in So that's the Bersendorfer 170 grand piano made in 1925 and fully restored. And both touch and tone are really exquisite.
The Bösendorfer ranked alongside Steinway, really. They didn't make a huge number of pianos in those days, and still don't. The factory is still, still going in Vienna. Um, been around the factory not that long ago, actually. Very impressive and very dedication to high quality, really. So I really recommend the piano. If you're interested, please do write to info at robertspianos.com and let us know what you'd like to do.